Hello friends, welcome to BISP Solutions. Myself, Ashwin, and I work as a technical consultant at BISP Solutions. BISP Solutions is a company and provide technological solutions across the world. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you what is MapReduce script. Okay, so MapReduce script is a script which is used for executing uh, two different operations simultaneously. For example, let's consider uh, that a company is having 1000 sales orders. Now, 1000 sales orders company is having and company wants all those sales orders to be executed up to invoice to be uh, hard. The company wants to execute those sales orders up to invoice. So what we will do? First of all, we will use this map reduce. Okay. So map reduce means first of all, there are four stages. Get the input data, map, map the data. In this, we will write first uh, operation in the reduce we will write another operation which is simultaneously uh, executed and then ultimately finally the su summarize the summarize function is just to show some uh, detailed information that's it the role of summarize is not technical it is just uh, used to show the data or we can say uh, the number of uh, the name of the sales orders and the the id of the uh, invoices to display them that is that is why we use summarize otherwise map and reduce these are two important functions so let me show you with the format also let me show you the format here map reduce format see here this is the format here we are declaring we are using what modules we are using then you can see so data that is the uh, get input data map mapping this is variable you can change it as per your choice and then reduce reduce and summarize so get input data map reduce summarize this is how we write the script okay now let's see here uh, transform okay now see here transform now in this we need to first extract the data through saved search so we have to create one saved search in the scripting like this we have created one saved search and here we have written the id uh, date within which date you want to change you want to convert so transformation we need to do transformation here i have written uh, log.debug that is what we received we have received this saved search i will show you in the lo uh, log execution right execution log and then return sales auto search now it comes in so map now in so map what happens we are converting it to fulfillment see here item fulfillment that is record dot transform this is the command that we are going to use to convert it into sales order to item fulfillment so item fulfillment we have saved here and in this way item fulfillment id i have uh, put it into the log dot default then Another is re reduce. In this issue, reduce, we are con converting, that is transforming the sales order into invoice. So here also SOID, that means the internal ID. Everything is done with the help of internal ID. So we are going to change this into the invoice. And finally, invoice create submit, invoice create dot save. That means we are saving those invoices. And finally, Finally, we can see here in the summarize part, summary output iterator each function key and value. We are just showing sales order item, uh, sales order number that is converted invoice ID number. That is so we are just showing the information. So I have already uploaded this. We all know that how to upload the script. So this is the deployment, right? I have uploaded MapReduce NK, right? This is the name of the script. Now I am going to right now in the execution log there is nothing and today so created here you can see a saved search is created here this is these are the two sales orders where uh, they are created now see I am going to just since it's a map reduce I am going to I am doing it manually so I am going to edit this and i just need to click save and execute now save and execute as soon as i hit the save and execute button what will happen it will immediately 
execute the saved search first. First, it will execute the saved search. After that, it will go to the map. As soon as saved search is executed, one by one, the uh, rows will be transferred. So let me show you. Save and execute. And after one by one row transfer, it will convert immediately. One, one row at a time, it will convert and then it will convert into the item fulfillment. And after that, immediately that reduce part will be executed. So it will be converted into invoice. Then again, next row will come in this way. Let me show you. Here it is completed. And in the today, uh, the saved search, let me show you. There is nothing because both are both the sales orders are converted into invoice. The execution log. Now see here. What we receive, sales order. See, when you execute the saved search, in that case, you will receive the data in this way. Then this is context. Now let me show you. This is context means what? This is what we receive. We receive the complete saved search. Then this is context dot value. So context dot value you will receive in this way. A string inside which the values are there. So once you have to do it JSON dot parse and after that document number, doc number, that is the document number. So you have to get this transaction ID. In uh, NetSuite also, it is the ID, internal ID is tran ID. Here it is tran ID, right? After that, you have to get the value, internal ID. So internal ID value, you will get this value. That means we are having SO3616 and also 154611. We are having these two numbers, SO number internal ID and the document number. So document number, if I print this document number, now see here document number is this, SO3616, right? Then internal id of document number that is internal id of document number that is 154611 so let me show you the so3616 just a second so3616 It is built right now, but previously it was uh, item fulfill pending fulfillment status. So now see here one five four six double one. So one five four six double one is the internal ID, internal ID of the doc number. Okay. So now let's see here. This is the internal ID. Okay, item fulfillment ID. Now see here. Once it is done in the item fulfillment, so. Let me show you the item fulfillment ID in the related records is this is the item fulfillment. And if you click on this, see here, one, five, five, two, one, eight, one, five, five, two, one, eight is the item fulfillment ID. One, five, five, two, one, eight. Here is the item fulfillment number, right? Similarly, it will, it is converted into invoice. Okay. So now. This is first. <clears throat> now again, second. Let's have this. As soon as the script runs, the second order or second record is found. So it is again sent to SO map, and then SO map after that, SO map same thing. This is context value. So context value means this is where is the script. This is context value. Whatever we receive, that is SO. 3617. This is 3616 and this is 3617. So if I copy this and 3617. And now you will see here. See here. The item fulfillment. Let me open the related records. And the item fulfillment would be. Item fulfillment ID is 155. 215519. So here you will see the document number is this and 155219. Correct. And internal ID of document is suppose internal ID of the document that is 154712. 154712. Okay. 
so we are we are fetching all the data after that item fulfillment now this is the part reduce here context key means okay so here is the part of reduce so in the part of reduce you will see here this is the third part reduce okay so soid is sent so soid is sent means here is soid here is the area of okay so we will send here we receive here already we receive here the sales order id but we have not printed then after that we have transformed it to invoice okay so invoice creation so this is the invoice creation here as add a area of reduce part okay i have since you can see here i have pushed the data see here add a reduce part okay so so inventory that is push so we have taken all the information now after that summarize part summarize part sales order number and converted id so sales order number is this since we have not taken we have given sales order internally key is this invoice id so that's why it's taken as, uh, and you can print it here sales order number also then converted invoice id converted invoice id is 155312 here already it is given 155312 just a second, I will let me show you the invoice ID number also. Invoice. 155318 one is and another is invoice 155312. Here is 155318. You can see here 155318. So in this way, the summarize function is just used for Showing the information in, we will never write any technical script in the summarize function. Whatever the script, uh, technical script that you want to write, that you should write it into the mapping and another is reduce. So if you are having two operations which are to be executed side by side, simultaneously. So in that case, you can use map reduce. Otherwise, there are so many scripts like schedule script and mass reduce script. They are already in use. So map reduce take a little bit comparatively less time than uh, schedule search. So guys, uh, I recommend you to please uh, practice this code. And also, if you have any doubt, you can note down your doubt uh, and then put it into the comment box. I will resolve your queries. Because this uh, situations comes in, in a live project. We can't say that it, it's a frequently coming requirement, but yeah, it, it comes in a pro live project. So that's why this is most important to map reduce script. And also if you have not subscribed my channel, so please subscribe my channel. So to get the notification of the new videos. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching the video.